Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial working on my giant contact switch post because when I press the little lever it is either not going up as just happened right now or sometimes it'll go up to there instead of actually doing this. So let's just jump into switching the cartridge out on this thing. I just got the cartridge. They're kind of hard to find. Your giant dealer can find them for you or there's a few places online that have them and I'll place a link to the script in the description to where I got it but still they're not the easiest ones to find so your best bet is if you can't find it online go to your giant dealer and this one in particular is the second generation of the seat post so you actually have to look at what generation of a seat post you have because depending on that you'll get a different number and uh, they are different and not interchangeable so keep that in mind if you look at the second generation, they have these numbers right here, and mine is a 406087400, and the 400 is actually the length when fully extended. The 400 version will extend 100 millimeters worth of travel, and there's a 375 version which does 80 millimeters of travel, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so let's actually get to work. First things first, remove the seat clamp. It's about as easy as it gets, 4 mil allen. Just spin that a bit, and that's loose. Uh, important thing to take note of, drop the, po the seat all the way before you actually loosen this too much. You need this to be all the way down here so that you can actually get it apart without having any problems with the cartridge being fully extended. Now once you have that out, if you turn your steering wheel so that you actually feed most of the cable in, this will go in like this. And once you have it out, you're going to see this, and this is pretty easy. You just pull on the cable, go a little bit that way, and it'll go out sideways. And as you can see, it has a regular cable end, and it just basically goes into here. And that's great of this design in particular, because it makes removing the seat posts incredibly easy. Okay, so the next step is to remove these two bolts here. And uh, this is a 2.5 millimeter Allen to do that. And take your time with these, because they're very tiny and you don't want to mess them up because I don't know actually where to find them they seem to be uh, hard to replace and they're a little bit of a pain to get out okay so once you have these far out enough you can just keep on going and they'll pop out like that and after that you have to take the collar off and that already loosened it but you can just use your hand and turn it and it'll eventually come off so after you're done with that you have to take out the bottom part and this is a 8 millimeter allen that just goes in through the bottom and it shouldn't be too tight, but I don't think you can do it by hand. And once you got it, you can actually just do the rest like this. Okay, so the reason we got the top off first is because once you're done with this, if you keep on spinning enough, it's going to come loose. You can give it a good tug, and uh, that's the whole cartridge coming out. And there you go. And then you're going to have to remove uh, the cartridge itself from the bottom. And same thing as before. Take it easy with them because they're very tiny, and they're easy to damage, so you don't want to do that. Same thing as with the top, once you've gotten these far out enough, you can just pull them out and uh, pull and that's it. The cartridge is out and now we can swap in the new one. But since we actually have the seat post out, it's a good idea to pull this out and also clean everything. And uh, this will just pull out like that and you have to be careful because there are some guides that are stuck to this that you do not want them to fall off. They are right here, these little plastic pieces. Make sure you keep a mental note of where those go and uh, you put them back in the right place when you put everything back together. So go ahead and remove the grease, the old grease from these in whatever way you see fit and uh, get all the grease off from this part as well and remember there's these little two things, one, the other one's on the other side and we're going to put them back in when we actually reassemble everything. There's this little o-ring, it's not an o-ring, it's a plastic ring here this one just keeps it from going below this point, so make sure that you keep it on top of that. These are the two little plastic pieces that I mentioned. We're just going to clean them off. Once they're clean, you're going to notice they're transparent, so they're actually quite hard to spot. Okay, so installation is just reverse of the removal. So get some grease on this, on top of the collar. And uh, you can put a decent amount. This is something that you don't want to scratch. And that's just going to sit here between these, this and the collar, so you can kind of just push that up. And that'll keep a bunch of lubrication there. Then uh, this thing will slide back in here. I don't know if this is an exaggeration or not, but a little bit of extra grease there won't hurt. So now before we actually put this in, we have to 
put these two little thingies that I had mentioned back in here. So they kind of slide into the plastic there. And if you get them in right, they'll stick to there. Once they're in, you should put some grease below the collar here as well. Decent amount. Okay, so now you have to get these two pieces back together. And uh, here you'll notice the plastic little pieces are placed in. And uh, there's some notches in here that you have to align. So one easy way to do this is make sure that it says contact on the top and uh, the giant black lettering that you can barely see there also at the top. And if you have them both looking up, it shouldn't take too much fiddling around to just get it to slide back into place. And for now, the only thing you, extra you have to do is uh, tighten the collar back onto this tube. So there we go. The collar is fully screwed back onto the tube. Now the next thing that we have to do is put the cartridge together with the release parts. So next you're going to grab the two little tiny retainers and these go in here and uh, they're a little bit of a pain to get them to grab on for the first time. So just take your time and do it slowly. Once again messing this up is not good. That went in easy. So it is worth noting that there's a couple different model years for this. My bike in particular is a 2014, but 2014 and 2015 are the second generation. And in that case, the replacement cartridge is only 60 bucks. The newer one is a little bit more expensive. I'm not exactly sure how much, but it is a little bit more. So once you have that in, that should be fixed there. So once we have this together, make sure you lube the whole thing because everything around this is moving. Decent amount of lubrication on everything. Once again, not the cleanest job. So once the cartridge is fully greased, you can now grab this and just slide it into place. It'll pop into place here at the top. And now you can slide the tube down a tiny bit and you can get the cartridge to screw into the main tube there. So once you fully tighten it by hand, you can use an 8mm Allen just to get the rest. And make sure this is properly tightened. You don't have to go crazy with it, but just enough so that it doesn't pop out. Because if it does start to screw out, it won't move properly. So once you have the bottom secured, now it's time to put these two little thingies back into the top of the post. And those are the ones that are going to hold onto the cartridge. This is a, the old one that I got. Those two bolts hold right here. This is a 2.5 mil Allen. When you're getting them in place, make sure that this is fully in and uh, you have to do a little bit of pressure so that they actually go in and start to thread. So to avoid you falling asleep, I skipped a good two minutes of fiddling with these. Make sure they're tight, but don't go crazy. It's still a very small Allen. And uh, make sure the ones on the bottom are tight as well. And that's it. We've replaced the cartridge on the post and it's just now a matter of getting it on the bike again. We just need to put the seat post back in. That's about as simple as it gets. I'm trying to keep my arm out of the way here. If you slide it into the actual mechanism there, once you have it in and the cable is properly positioned, you should just be able to slide this into place here. This will go there and just slide the seat post back in. So figure out what the correct height for you is. And once you have that, you just have to tighten the seat clamp. And uh, if you have a torque wrench for this, go ahead and use it. If not, just be reasonable. If you have a carbon frame, it's even more important to use a torque wrench. Okay, so here we go. This is the moment of truth. I actually did not test this before filming, so you uh, either see my face of happiness or disappointment when we try this out. And uh, there goes down, released, and all the way back up. Seems to work perfectly. Look, that was a successful replacement. What I really like about the seat post. It stopped working up to two and a half years, and that's about a $60 replacement cartridge. Swapped it back in. It took me like 20 minutes to do this tops. And there you go, it's perfect, working perfectly again. And it's very simple to service, and it's cable actuated, but there we go, it's working. So we'll be riding on the next video again, and I will see you for the next one, and happy riding.